Hey there, this is Lana the Comedian Medium, and um, I've been having a lot of people ask me to see my farm. My farm is kind of a rescue farm. I got about four and a half acres. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, which I've got neighbors, but nobody behind me in front of me. So um, I'm going to walk you through, and you can see some of my animals. I've got horses, goats, rabbits, chickens, and I'm kind of an expert at most of these animals because people call me for advice. So I probably should be like offering that. I'm thinking of making a new YouTube channel and calling it the crazy chicken lady's garden. So if you see that on here, subscribe to it because it's full of little tips about growing plants. And I I probably should be a um, master gardener because I've learned all this. I, I'm not bragging, but I'm learning this. I learned a lot of this from my own grandmother who had her own farm. And I just know quite a bit of stuff over the years. Like I got stuff that makes plants grow. I concocted it all naturally and it's double the size and it's just stuff like that. So I'm going to take and walk you through my farm because there I had a lot of people on here requesting, um, let me see your farm. Let me see your animals. So um, just remember, it's only 38 degrees here, 40 degrees here right now. It's in April, which that is cold. It just didn't get warm. And we're in COVID. We're in, when, so I'm, I'm not like my hair isn't like looking good or anything. So <laughs> deal with it, okay? Here's some of my garden I'm just putting in. I've got all this stuff. I'm just getting ready. I just heard through the grapevine that we're having another inch of snow. So it stays in another day. But these are some of these, there's over 30 different rare types of tomatoes and peppers in here that you can't find, they're heirloom. So I put them in the side until it gets warmer. It's supposed to be in the 60s, almost 70 next week. So this, these are my chicks. I'm gonna be holding, picking them up here soon. These are just bantams, which means they're very, they're tiny, they're small chickens. The one is frizzle, the one in the middle there, that the one with the brown has curly feathers. I got lucky, and when I bred up, when I picked up the breeding that I had, they had some of them have some odd stuff. Um, I have about 48 chickens, and I raise them inside under a lamp because they can't control their their heat yet, um, their body temperatures. But once they get their feathers, they're good to go. So it looks to me like they're pretty much close to it. I just took about eight of my other ones outside. I'm going to walk you through that in a minute. Okay, this is my greenhouse. I have a 16 foot greenhouse that I grow um, house plants and see I'm repotting things. Um, I grow house plants, I grow succulents, I sell them. It's 80 some degrees in here right now. At night it gets very cold in here. So, cause we live in, I live in Wisconsin. So I'm able to keep things pretty warm, but um, and some of these are also produce food for me. So, um, so a lot of these, um, I keep these, a lot of these plants at home, at my school during, because I am a school teacher, during the school year, and then just bring them home and put them in the greenhouse when it gets warm enough. These are my goats. They are all named after <laughs> Disney characters. <laughs> Belle, Nemo, Snow White. Who am I forgetting? Oh, my baby got out. Can you see my baby over here? She got out of the wrong, she gets under the fence sometimes. She's real small and she gets out. Um, Nemo's my, my male goat, my, my billy goat. He, we call him Nemo the one-horned goat because he lost his horn. They just, she's still producing milk. Yes, we can milk her. I've only got five right now. And they're very, you can see they're very, very tame. <laughs> they want me to pet them. That little goat's Belle. She's a baby and she won't come to me right now. She's being silly. She won't run away or nothing. She's just, she gets under the fence. She's smart enough to know how to jump them because they're like Houdinis. Anybody that has goats understands that. Now here's my chickens. Now they're all around because I give them free range. I just kind of, here's their pen. Okay, watch this. Watch this. See if I can find any. Go real slow on my farm here. Chick, 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 chick. Here they come. <laughs> I got about uh, 25 to 30 of them. Chick, 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 here, here they run. See them, see them running? <laughs> yeah, they look like they're gonna attack. They're just looking for food. They know that I will give them food if I call them. Yeah, I'll give you food, hold on. See, here they come, here they come. They're all over the yard. It's really good for um, pest 
uh, extermination because they eat almost everything. There's my rooster. I just got him. I just lost my rooster and got a new one. Got, there's my cat in the distance. I don't know if you can see my cat. His name's Bentley. He, he keeps, a, he's a very good mouser. He keeps the, the farm really good, in really good control. I'm gonna call my horses and maybe I can get my horses out. I have three horses and a pony. They're all older now. My oldest pony, my pony's 20. Horses usually live to be 35, 36 if they're ponies and about 25 to 30 if they're, they're full grown. See if I can get them out of here. Sky! Magic! Patsy! Come on! Come on! They're in their shed right now. They get a little lazy, but they're gonna be fed here soon. Here they come, here they come. Come on, Sky! My horses are all hand raised and hand broke by me, which means I've taught them how to ride. I've taught them all their cues and they don't know anybody but me because I've had them since birth. So they're kind of spoiled too, they're big babies. I gotta get out and groom them soon. They're losing their hair. They lose their winter fur and their winter fur gets to be about up to four inches long. So they're in the process of losing that. So come on, you guys. I gotta feed them. We, we hay them yet. It's not quite warm enough for them to go out into the pasture. It's um, in April here in May. I open the pasture for them all summer up through October. So they're gonna get fed though. A couple rabbits. I just keep them. I know this sounds silly, but I, they're good pets and I love them in the house, but I also keep them for the poo because I use it in my garden. This is Sophie. She's about four or five, I think now. I've um, had her since she was a little tiny bunny. Little bunny. His name's Jelly Bean. We just got him. He's an Angora rabbit, you know, like the Angora that you wear, like when you wear it, when you make it out of, um, you know, thread and stuff, Angora wool. It's, um, he's only eight weeks old and I'm a little concerned he's not eating like he should be. I might have to like, I don't know, I'm kind of worried. I've, he's lost a little weight, so I'm gonna have to come in here tomorrow and make sure he's eating better. These are my bigger chicks. These are all together with the ones I had earlier. See, look at the little ones. They're still, they're still, they're gonna stay small. See the rooster in the middle, the black one with his, with his little co um, comb starting to come. A couple of these are, are also turkeys. I've never tried turkeys and I really wanted to try turkeys. But I'm raising them and then you see we keep them warm underneath this uh, this thing here, this uh, the light. And um, it stays warm in my back. Um, it, this is the corner of my barn. And when they, get, when they get a little bit bigger, I'm gonna introduce them all at once to the new flock so that way they don't get picked on. Because have you ever heard the word hen pecked? They'll kill each other, um, pack, pack each other on the head and kill, pe and kill other chickens. So if you are careful and you introduce them slowly, what I found works is doing it at night. You put them with the flock and the, tur and the, the chickens don't remember that they weren't there and they just, they blend in. Because tur turkeys and chickens aren't stupid, but they're also not really bright. And they have a very kind of, sometimes don't have the herd mentality, what, I don't know, it just works. And I, anybody that doesn't understand that, anybody who has chickens and birds understands, you just put them together in my coop at night, then they're fine. These are my dogs. These are, this is, this is Seneca and Houston. Oh, he's lifting his leg. <laughs> they're, they're my collies. They kind of take care of my farm for me. They're, they can, I'm sure you can hear my goats. The goats are upset because they, they see the dogs out and they, the dogs usually take care of them real good. So. Uh, you know. This is my view. When I'm reading, you guys, I'm looking out a window and I see the tree right here. I have a bald eagle that usually sits up in this tree and has actually flown right in front of me and landed like right on the ground and grabbed something. I think it grabbed a mouse. I was laughing because it, like I was, this is what I'm looking at when I'm reading for you guys. Just to let you know, this is my view. I can see for about seven to eight miles. That's the, the, the way, way, way off in the distance is the city. I've got one way is uh, exactly five to seven miles is one way. Five to seven miles is the other way and both have cities and, and I'm between them. So there you go. Just thought I would share that. So you can see this is what everybody wanted to see. Um, this is what I do. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do have a full-time job and this is more... Well, it's not quite my hobby farm because I also make money off it. I also have uh, 700 types of hostas, but they have not come up yet. That's my big money earner for me when I'm not doing readings. So if you have a chance, 
visit EnchantedSky.com. You, that's what this place is called is Enchanted Sky. So my horse's name is Sky. Get it? <laughs> so you can book a reading. You can look at my Facebook. Um, you can visit my um, blog, TheWiseWomanSage.com. And I hope to hear from you again. Let me hear from you. I'd love to hear, and I will respond to anything you guys do send me. Blessings.